Hi everybody, Lisa Guerrero here, joining you for another Throwback Thursday. This time I am in my art studio in Los Angeles, and I wanted to share with you one of the most amazing assignments I had ever been given. This was incredible, and I'm so glad I was able to find the video because this was from the 90s. And um, one day my agent called and he said, how would you like to go to Egypt? And I said, what? And he said, yes, Fox Network wants you to join the legendary Hugh Downs, the actor Bill Pullman, and the archeologist, Dr. Zahi Hawass to uncover a brand new group of mummies they had found underneath the desert in the Baharia Oasis outside of Cairo, Egypt. So they were gonna send me to Egypt for two weeks to do this incredible assignment that was going to be uh, carried live on the air to over 100 countries. Oh my gosh, I said yes, of course, signed me up. And um, I began what was one of the most incredible experiences of my professional life. So I wanted to show you some of the clips from this incredible network special, opening the tombs of the golden mummies. Here we go. To hide the greatest treasure since King Tut, guarded by 10,000 mummies. Join Hugh Downs when Fox opens the tombs of the Golden Mummies live right now. We are here examining one of the most astounding archaeological discoveries of all time. Perhaps as many as 10,000 mummies, some sheathed in gold, and some buried with treasures, including things like coins showing the face of Cleopatra. Gentlemen, can you tell us where we're headed? Uh, good evening. I would like really uh, to tell everyone who's watching us tonight that ancient Egypt is not the pyramids and the Sphinx. We are going to see mummies enter inside tunnels. We'll learn tonight about archaeology and history. We look forward to that. And Bill, what, uh, how do you feel about this impending? <laughs> it's kind of exciting. It's great. It's a privilege to be here with Dr. Hawassu. I think we're very lucky to have, and I'm, like, I'm kind of curious to see how we're going to take all these cameras. We're going to go down a shaft and try to share this live experience with everybody. I know what you're planning to do. I'll let you get on your way, and uh, we'll be back to you presently. In the meantime, joining us is our reporter, Lisa Guerrero, and you are headed for where? Hugh, I'm headed to the Cemetery of Anubis. We're actually going to be broadcasting from two different locations this evening, and we've all, we've all been kind of having this crash course in Egyptology in order to get up to speed to Dr. Hawass's discoveries. So I'm going to head off to the Valley of the 10,000 Mummies, and I'll check in with you in a few check minutes. from there. You head there, and we'll head here. Uh, Dr. Hawass, we need to check in now with Lisa Guerrero, who's standing by over at the cemetery of uh, Anubis. Thanks, Hugh. Check this out. I am at the Valley of 10,000 Mummies, and you're going to want to look at this area. I'm in a tomb surrounded on three sides by mummies. Now, mummies weren't the only thing that Dr. Hawass's team has been uncovering. Look at this. This pottery is beautiful. Now, this vessel may have at one time contained wine, because this used to be kind of known as the Napa Valley of Egypt. Look at the skull here. The skull has two major cracks. Isn't that interesting? There's so many things to look at here. Bill and Dr. Hawass, you're gonna to wanna to get here as quickly as possible. There are all kinds of exciting things to discover. We'll get back now to the cemetery of Anubis where Lisa is standing by. And Lisa, if you can tell us a little bit what you've learned about the Baharia Oasis and the 10,000 mummies up to this time. Well, this may look like barren desert today, but centuries ago, this valley was where the glory of ancient Greece and the grandeur of Rome met the mystery of Egypt. This was a magical place, one that even Alexander the Great enjoyed. This legacy is what we're discovering today. She says, how is a movie different from doing this show, Bill? Uh, well, uh, actually, uh, a movie is about maybe 30% uh, really there, and you're imagining the rest, or it's CGI here. It's 100% the real deal. There's no uh, paper mache here. So uh, now we're going to go up to Lisa, who is up in the, uh, with the x-ray machine, and see what she's found. Thanks very much, Bill. Now, folks may be wondering, what in the world is an x-ray machine doing in the middle of the Sahara Desert? Well, Dr. Hawass can actually use an x-ray machine, among other things, to help determine cause of death 
for some of these mummies. He can also find out if there are any valuables wrapped within the linen. Now, as you can imagine, there are all kinds of priceless antiquities buried within these digs. So it should come as no surprise to you at all that many people throughout the ages have risked their lives in order to steal from these tombs. Against intruders. This is a very unique uh, curse inscription. And he's saying here, if anyone will touch my tomb, he will be eaten by the crocodile, the hippo, and the lion. Those are the three animals that's going to eat anyone who will enter his tomb. All right, so we're going to start to clear some of these stones. And oh, what is exactly we're looking for inside Bill, here? Inside here, one of the most important discovery. We are not uh -huh. going to start now, Bill. Oh. It is the governor of this place, Jed Khonso uh, Yuf Ank. He's like a king. This okay. is the a tomb was found intact, and I can say that this is one of the most important discoveries that we made. But listen, it's going to take some time to open. This, the sarcophagus is big. And maybe inside the sarcophagus we'll find another inner one. Then it will take time. Then everyone has to be patient with us because this is, in my opinion, looks like a royal tomb. The first ever in any TV ever opened live. Okay. And we're going to show this with everyone. It will be the most exciting moment in the history of archaeology. I'm ready to start digging. Where do we go? We will go. We'll uh, take we start the with stones. These rocks? We'll start taking the thrones, right. rocks, and after that, we'll enter inside. Okay. It's going to take a little time. It will take lit Maybe. I'm, I hope that we can open it during the show. I hope that right. it will not be open after the show. I'm because patient. the huge, big sarcophagus inside, beautiful. I'm ready. There's enthusiasm there, isn't there? Is it what it you sure expected, uh, Lisa? You know, I, th I think, Hugh, that everybody wonders what it would be like to step back into time. And I think that we've been lucky enough to do that tonight by entering the tombs and actually touching these artifacts. We've been connected to these people who have lived here and worked here and died here, all with the passionate belief that they would live again. I think that's a, a wonderful testament to their spirit, and tonight's been a wonderful adventure. So the absolute best part of that assignment for me was sharing the anchor desk at the end of the special with Hugh Downs. Um, I was not expecting it. It was kind of a surprise and it was really one of the most incredible professional experiences of my life. He was so great. But what he said to me afterwards really impacted me. He pulled me aside and he said, Lisa, I want you to consider quitting sports and concentrating on news. You should be a news reporter. Why are you doing sports? And I remember thinking to myself, well, I'm a trailblazer in sports. There aren't a lot of female sportscasters. Um, you know, I love sports. But what he said to me deeply resonated with me. And years later, I did make the transition from sports to news. I wish I would have done it sooner. I wish I would have taken his advice. He offered to help me. And um, anyway, I look back really fondly at this assignment in Egypt with uh, Bill Pullman, who was great to work with. He's an incredible actor and he was so much fun. Dr. Zahi Hawass was an incredible character and just such an in incredible man and archeologist. And of course, the legendary Hugh Downs. And I can never thank him enough for the kindness he showed me back then. He passed away recently, but um, I have a lot of great memories about working with him in Egypt. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my Throwback Thursday this week. Don't forget to order my book, Warrior, My Path to Being Brave. In Warrior, I talk about my trip to Egypt and some other really hilarious, <laughs> I can't even talk about them right now, some hilarious things that happened in Egypt. Anyway, um, please consider pre-ordering the book today. We're having a special sweepstakes for those of you that do uh, pre-order. So um, I would really appreciate that support. And whatever you do, make sure that you enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Thanks everyone for watching this week's Throwback Thursday video. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share my video. Click on the bell icon to turn on my post notifications to be notified when I post my next video. Be sure to pre-order my book with the link in my description.